the recent videos we had discussed methods to identify the niche and then to validate the niche with the help of amazon product opportunity explorer we have also discussed the late criteria for amazon product evaluation to make sure that the niches or the product revenue is not directly related or directly proportional to the number of reviews so in today's video we are going to talk about trends now i know that you guys know about the google trends and how to use that but today we are going to talk about a tool which helps you a lot in validating or quantifying the demand of that product year over year and then again it also helps you to identify the trends related to your niche because if uh, you are exploring a particular niche and you find a couple of products or a couple of maybe ideas which are trending related to that niche then doing development or uh, doing the validation of the demand of that particular trend can be very helpful for you for a very successful product launch so let's jump into this part and see how we can do that okay so here is the uh, tool the glimpse meet the future before it happens and here is the tool which we are going to discuss today google trend supercharge you can simply click on it and download the extension it would look like this one uh, the glimpse uh, extension and then let's jump on to the google trends you simply need to open the google trends like trends.google.com that's it and i have uh, taken this example randomly and i'm just trying to explore it further because it would be easy for you to carry the idea and then this is the uh, search term here cages now i need to limit it from worldwide to united states and uh, the years are already past five years but the beauty of glimpse is it quantifies the demand like uh, if you simply open the google trends it shows you 0 25 50 75 and 100 but here it is quantifying the demand and that is based upon the google search volume not of amazon so it's saying uh, that recently its demand on google is around 27000 <clears throat> and it is showing you a different scenario here that the past year the demand has dropped 10% but if the demand has increased then definitely it will highlight you this thing as well and it is also quantifying the number of searches per month like 24000 searches were there for the keyword cages past month now this is the uh, first thing quantifying the demand based upon the google data that also helps you to see what is the potential of this product outside amazon and then again the other feature the second point which we i would like to share with you here is this channel's features of glimpse so it is very helpful and kind of self-explanatory you see on which social media channel this keyword and definitely if you are identifying the niche then uh, different products related to the niche are also going to belong to that particular social media channel so it's kind of pointing out that uh, this product has a good demand on tiktok and most of the case in most of the cases you would see tiktok leading all this uh, leaderboard of social media channels because of its recent hype and popularity but then surprisingly at the second stage uh, most of the cases it's like pinterest or maybe instagram or youtube which carries the second position but here in this particular case twitter is uh, at the second position and then reddit is at the third position we are going to discuss more about the social media platforms later on but this is kind of a valuable data to see where this search volume is basically or where the target audience or the customers who are using this product are can be found on the social media platforms now one of the amazing thing which i would like to share here with you guys is this feature now when you uh, explore the google trend simply it simply tells you about all the keywords and it just simply mentions you the keyword and maybe a percentage up and down but here you can sort these related uh, keywords on the basis of search volume on the basis of competition on the basis of growth cpc and a to z we need to check uh, this data point on the basis of two filters first one is search volume and the second one is growth now with the help of this growth filter it helps you to identify the related keywords or the related trends particular to your main niche keyword like let's say if we see there are not much trends here maybe this one ironwood betting and then this is something very specific to a place then this one cages musical musical soundtrack this is not relevant to us let's go to the second page large tomato cages but this has kind of seasonality and it's 
सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी आई वुड से बिकॉज इट्स रिलेटेड टू टोमेटो सो इट्स शोइंग द हाई एंड लो इन द डिमांड्स एंड देन हेयर इज दिस वन द जे क्लिप्स फॉर वायर केजेस now that can be a product j clips i don't know duke city we know it is specific related to a specific city and may not be helpful for us but j clips for wire we, we can check that and the good thing is it is trending and then let's go to the second part here maybe this one triple crown betting cages i don't know what it is um if we go further let's move to the third page this thing dog cages and then cat cages which is increasing in demand so it gives you an idea of all the trends related to your niche and it all will be resonate or synchronize with the next videos which i'm going to share with you guys but for now keep this thing in mind that keeping the or having a grip on the trends related to the niche in which you want to launch a product can help you in the expansion goals can help you in maybe doing the development part or can help you to identify a trend at its very infancy stage so you can capitalize that part so that's something very important because if there is a wave or a hype of something you are definitely going to ride the wave and you are going to get benefit out of it just by identifying that wave or that trend so it's that helpful if we just go for the fourth page randomly and see if there are any trends like d bat cages maybe it's not that much helpful this kw cages okay so this one monster ring and cages this is something different i believe so we found the j wire and kv cages we can see this thing as well then k9 cages this will also give, give us an idea about the things for about the topics which are being trendy and it can be possible like we found the j wire for cages that can be a product but we can also find an idea not a product and we know we can capitalize that idea into a product we would discuss that at later stages as well so that is my favorite part in this glimpse extension of uh, when we use it on the google trends and that helps you to capitalize specifically all the trends related to your particular niche that is very important and very helpful and can help you to do the brainstorming on new ideas how you can expand your product line or your portfolio in a smart way by targeting or picking up the trends instead of going with the mainstream so that's it for now and i'll see you in the next video till then goodbye